Staying hydrated is key to health, but not everyone remembers to drink enough water. Hydrate launched a Kickstarter campaign for a smart water bottle that notifies you when you need to drink more. Nadia Wen is right with me here. She is the co-founder and CEO. So first of all, Nadia, how does the bottle work? Yeah, so there's, uh, the bottle has a sensor inside it that tracks how much water you drink out of it. And then that syncs it over to your phone through Bluetooth that allows the phone to track your progress throughout the day. And you have just reminded me that actually a lot goes into this calculation. So this sort of one size fits all, drink two liters a day or whatever <laughs> it is, it doesn't fit if you weigh more, if you're taller, if you work out more, mm -hmm. and people have a chance to put these metrics in first. Yeah, so when you set up the app, it will like, you know, ask for your like, you know, age, your gender, your height, your weight. But uh, what's better is that it syncs to your favorite wearables, so it will know that you need to drink more after a long run. And it will also consider your location. So if you are in the mountains of Colorado, it will make sure that you don't get dehydrated there. Okay, so Nadia, the skeptics say, why do you need to be prompted? All of this is common sense. How do you answer your critics? Yeah, I think, well, when it comes to water, I think a lot of us kind of take it for granted. Uh, but what happens is that almost 40% of Americans just don't drink enough water. And the issue with that is, you know, when life gets busy, it's so easy to forget. And the thirst is actually only one, it's um, dehydration only men. Uh, manifest in many different ways, sure. including and, thirst. And yeah. people say, by the time you're thirsty, it's actually too late. You're already on the yeah. road to dehydration. So exactly. unless you're going to start pounding electrolytes <laughs> or Gatorade, you're right. a little bit out of luck. Gawker, though, the new site saying, this is the worst Kickstarter campaign ever. Have you responded to them saying, what are you on? Yeah, I think, well, for us, it's really like, you no, know, we believe that we are addressing the real needs. And before we even start making the product, we have talked to a lot of potential users, you know, like people who are trying to get or stay in shape, people with, you know, kidney diseases. And a lot of those people, they have a real need to stay hydrated, and they actually are struggling with that. Would you ever sponsor a race or you'll just finish the Kickstarter campaign, which, by the way, you've been on it 30 days? Um, we actually have been on it for 10 days and we still have 33 more days to go. Okay, and, and just remind us of the goal and how far you are. Um, so our initial goal was $35,000, and as of right now, last time I checked, was we at $248,000. All right, now for all the would-be inventors out there, Nadia, what do you have to prove to Kickstarter before you can even post on their site? Um, well, firstly, we have to prove that our product is real. I think that's kind of like the biggest one. But a big part about doing Kickstarter is that we have to be 80% ready before we even launch. So we did a lot of the preparation work beforehand. All right. It makes sense. The sous chef work always shows up on the table. Nadia Wen joining exactly. me there, co-founder and CEO of Hydrate.